Hey everyone, Mr. Mase here. This is a guy for second to spot Franco Champs with the Honda NSX Group 3. And let's get to started by mentioning that we're on the heavy wet tires. Brake balance is all the way to the front, so minus five. And you really gotta be careful with your throttle input as this track is soaking wet and any little mistake will be severely amplified. But bring us up towards the left, brake just as this wall on the left goes a bit more to the left. Brake as much as you can for a short while. Slowly ease off of the brakes as you turn in and just be super gentle with your throttle input. Just trying to limit the amount of wheel spin that you're getting. Now for our Rouge Radion, this is perhaps the hardest part of the track under this time of day. You can lift off a throttle right around here to give yourself a moment to set yourself up but you pretty much want to brake just as you go over the curb right here. Use a little bit of your braking power. You want to slow down a little bit so you can make it going up this hill. You can go down to fourth gear, get on the throttle a bit to try to start to regain your speed. You can go up to fifth gear and do a little bit of throttle control as you go ready on to try to hopefully not to get any sort of nasty wheel spin and spin out. And as we're about to go down the Kemmel straight, you want to bring us up towards the left side of the track and stay on fifth gear. Look for the 150 meter board as that is your next braking point. So brake just as you reach the 150 meter board, brake as much as you can in a straight line. Slowly ease off of the brakes as you turn in, and once again, just be really easy on the throttle. Just let the car turn in with minimal throttle input so you don't face the risk of spinning out. Stay on the left side of the track. Look for the 100 meter board. Brake before you pass it. Brake in a straight line and slowly ease off of the brakes as you turn in. Really easy to overshoot this turn, so you gotta be really careful to here. Once again, just be really easy on the throttle and you want to brake well before you reach this sign that is on the right. A little bit of braking power through here. You're trying to fine tune the car's direction and just being really careful on the throttle once again. I cannot say that or stress that enough. And then brake before you reach the 50 meter board just after the curb on the right starts. Brake hard for a short moment. Slowly ease off of the brakes as you turn in, and you can stay on fourth gear to try to limit the amount of wheel spin that you're getting. You still gotta be really careful on the throttle though. Bring us up towards the left. Brake right as you reach the 100 meter board, so brake in a straight line. Slowly ease off of the brakes as you turn in, and you can stay on third gear to make it a little easier to limit the amount of power that you're putting in, and hopefully not to get too much wheel spin. Yeah, you see my car stepping out a bit. Brake just as the grass on the right starts. Brake hard for a short while. Slowly ease off of the brakes as you turn in. As I said that about 800 times. Really careful on the throttle. Lift off of the throttle as you make this right turn. You need to be super careful as my car is about to start to step out. Really easy to lose control right there. You gotta be super careful getting on the throttle and avoid the curb that is on the left. For Blanchemont, you want to look for this lone tire mark that is on the right. Brake just as you reach it. Use minimal braking power, so don't use too much of it. Slowly get on the throttle, avoid the dark green stuff on the right, and just as you go under the circuit to spa for or shop sign, that is when you want to start to brake as much as you can in a straight line. Because if you don't, you're going to overshoot this corner like how I do and cost yourself a bit of time and I could have gotten a 242 I swear. But anyways just be really careful on the throttle and that is it for the lap guide. Let's go ahead and take a look at the strategies. For this race we are doing 7 laps at Circuit de Spa Franco Champs with the Group 3 cars. There's no tire requirement and we have the racing wet and intermediates available. Make sure you're using the heavy wet tires as this track is soaking wet. But anyways, this is a great start, so make sure you have traction control at 1 and shortly after the race starts or shortly after you pass the first turn, 
you can move the traction control back down to zero or whatever value you normally have it set to. And it's going to be a bit of a cluster party, so make sure you brake before the 75 meter mark. That's around a good time to start to brake. Just trying to stick my weight up through the first turn, just trying to be really careful on the throttle. And with everyone all clustered up together, you got to be super careful for pretty much this first lap or so. Especially when there's multiple people going through Alridge Radion, people may, may slow themselves down a bit too much and you may need to take evasive action. I almost lost control, but luckily I was able to regain control of the car. But anyways, fuel is a times two, so fuel is not an issue. Tower is a times five. You kind of want to keep an eye on your rear tires because the rear tires will take a beating with all the wheel spin that they're getting. So bring the brake balance all the way to the front of the car. So we're talking minus four or minus five and just do a ton and a ton of throttle control to try to keep your rear tires in good shape because once those rear tires start to go, especially in a car like the NSX, oh boy, the car becomes really difficult to drive. In terms of go-to cars, MR cars, so mid-engine rear drive cars are going to be the go-to cars, more specifically, the Honda NSX and the Porsche 911 RSR. These two cars handle the rainy situation the best. Uh, you can try other cars like the Lamborghini Huracan, which is just up ahead, or the Ferrari 458, but they're a bit harder to control. So if you use those cars, the off-meta MR cars, you want to be a lot more careful about how you're driving them. And FR cars, there are actually a couple that can do well. So we're talking the Mercedes AMG, the Dodge Viper, and the BMW Z4. Yes, the meme car is actually a good car, but the FR cars are generally a lot slower than the MR cars under rainy conditions. So you're not going to be as competitive if you do take those FR cars out. And speaking of the Z4, the Z4 surprisingly is really good when it comes to rainy conditions, but it's still slow. So I uh, just want to let you know about that. And in terms of this race, you pretty much just need to survive the less mistakes you make, then the more likely better off that you'll be. And hopefully you don't get yourself into any sort of shenanigans as there's a bit of shenanigans going up in the front and I was a bit worried about what's going on and they're just taking each other out, taking each other through the grass. So I'm just gonna slow down and just try to stay away because especially under rainy conditions, uh, I don't want to end up spinning around for days. So this is going to be really careful through here. Fifth place caught up to us because we're all slowing down for the shenanigans going up up ahead. It's going to try to make my way through. And yeah, first place is going to slow down. It's going to try to make this turn, taking a bit of a defensive position. And then, yeah, there's going to be people taking each other out. Hopefully they went out to dinner afterwards. But anyways, we're pretty much getting close to the end of the commentary section of the guide. So here's a look at the tires towards the end of the race. So there is a bit of tire wear. You do got to be careful with how you're treating the car. Try not to slide around too much. Lots of throttle control to try not to get too much wheel spin and burn off your rear tires. Move the brake balance towards the front of the car. And once again, make sure you're using the heavy wet tires as this track is very, very wet. But this is about a 19 and a half minute race, so about your average daily racey, although it's going to feel like an eternity with these conditions. But that's all for this guide. Uh, thank you guys for the support. Thank you to Placey for supporting the channel as well. This is Mr. MCA celebrating his birthday by making lap guides. Let's go. And I'll see you in the next video.